you're also a professor at NYU yes. and you conduct brain research there. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about your research. For many years, I focused on parts of the brain that are critical for our ability to form new long-term memories. And so that has been my, my focus for um, literally the, the last 20 years. But more recently, about the last five or six years, of course, with, with the story that I just told you, I got fascinated with the effects of exercise on learning, memory, and cognition. And so the new research in my lab is focused on really two questions. The first basic question is, can we understand how much, what kind, and how long an exercise regime one needs to improve these key brain functions that I noticed in myself that were improving. And, and of course, this is also in the literature. Mood and memory and attention and even creativity. That's the first key question. The second question is, once we figure that out, once I can tell you, okay, exercise using this exercise regime for this long and then you're gonna improve your memory. Then the question is, how exactly is that happening? What is the mechanism? What are the signals that come from your muscles that are affecting your brain? What are the mechanisms in your brain that then cascade to improve your memory or your attention? A lot of open questions there, but fascinating ones and answerable. And so we're starting down the path to answer those two categories of questions.